This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. The student in question was unable to be located, so erring on the side of caution, we locked the school down. A tense situation at Spanish Springs High School today after it was reported a student possibly brought a gun on campus, forcing a code red lockdown. Details in our Channel 2 News Big Story at 5 o'clock. Well, fortunately, school police determined there was no threat, but the student in question is now being investigated. Good evening. I'm Kristen Remington. And I'm Landon Miller. Thank you for joining us tonight. The high school was locked down for less than two hours before returning to normal. Paul Nelson joins us live in the newsroom with more on how this incident unfolded. So, Paul, uh, how did staff hear about that possible weapon? Well, Landon, it all started with the student when when the student overheard a suspicious conversation indicating that another student had possibly brought that gun to school. That was reported to school staff and police acted quickly to find the possible suspect. Traffic backed up at Spanish Springs High School today and parents anxiously waited out front while the police searched the campus. Once we have that school locked down, we have officers literally going room to room, searching every inch of the campus to try and locate that suspect. The building was locked down while police sealed the perimeter of the school grounds. And at the school district, we always take each and every one of these cases very serious, as evidenced by the response today. Until we were able to locate that student, we wanted to err on the side of caution. The student in question had already left campus, but Trevino says teachers and staff acted appropriately. This type of incident is something they train for. The teachers did a fantastic job of reporting the status of their classrooms. We were quickly able to determine who was where, and that led us to believe that the student was not on campus. We started to focus our efforts away from the school. Trevino says the possible suspect's parents were cooperative and helped find the teen. And with the help of the Washoe County Sheriff's Office and Sparks Police Department, the student was located. The reason a code red was initially called is because the possible threat was located at the school, as opposed to a code yellow where the potential threat is near campus. Obviously, anytime there's a disruption in the learning environment, it has an impact on the students, and that's why we try to come to a resolve as quickly as possible, but not at the expense of safety. Detectives are questioning the suspect to get to the bottom of this investigation. The student could face charges if it's determined any threats were made or if a weapon was brought on campus. Covering the big story live in the newsroom, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News.